share screen now. So good morning, welcome back to Startup Change Leaders uh, weekly uh, event. We, we are today going to discuss a very important aspect of uh, government grants for startups. Uh, as you know that uh, government grants are very important for startups and the startups are actually uh, in the initial phase uh, always uh, struggling for the uh, support and uh, funds. And uh, many uh, startups, they have a very unique idea, very unique innovative proposition. They have a very uh, uh, important, uh, uh, you know, project where they need to work on. They need to do R and D. Uh, and uh, I uh, am actually, uh, I got a grant from uh, SPTVI for uh, one of my startup, my own startup. And we know the importance of. Uh, uh, the government grant, which actually gives a lot of boost to the startup ecosystem because you get that kind of support which is required for uh, uh, the R&D uh, uh, aspect of it. So uh, I think uh, government grants are uh, very, very uh, critical and uh, they are very, very important uh, for, uh, you know, the uh, startups to uh, survive in this uh, challenging market and uh, definitely uh, the grants uh, come in very handy for these startups. Now uh, let us look at what is the importance of uh, government grants. Uh, government grants can play a very crucial role uh, for uh, uh, supporting these startups and uh, you know the, the it it actually significantly impacts the growth and success and uh, uh, you know so one of course it gives a financial boost to the startup non dilutive uh, funds for the startup so you don't have to issue any equity you don't have to issue any uh, debenture or you you don't have to pay it back so this money is actually kind of a booster for the startup for survival and it is a kind of recognition for the startup for uh, actually uh, you know doing uh, the uh, activity and uh, of course risk reduction so there is a, a stable funding uh, which is there uh, amidst the uncertainty every startup has lots of uncertainties and uh, there there are many uh, risks which are going around the startup so uh, you know we have uh, 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 risk reduction through the grant which is coming in because that becomes a booster for the startup uh, of course uh, this is required for the r and d support because uh, this facilitates uh, innovation and development uh, and uh, uh, as i told you in my own startup i saw how much uh, it contributed to uh, you know, for us to do R and D work on our startup, because you can actually um, uh, spend this money for uh, uh, on the ground, and uh, you can actually uh, you know um, do some activity which is uh, research oriented, and uh, of course it is very important for the economic growth uh, because uh, it fosters job creation and industry growth. Uh, because in the initial stage of the startup, uh, you don't have uh, too much of money to, uh, you know, experiment. But this uh, booster of a grant actually gives you uh, lots of uh, confidence that you can actually try and experiment on uh, uh, your uh, innovative ideas. And uh, it gives you uh, kind of a confidence to go ahead and uh, do and contribute. Uh, in this activity and uh, uh, strategic sectors uh, uh, you know uh, uh, are there where targeted support for key industries is available then uh, you have access to the expertise because uh, uh, if you have a grant you can also get mentorship and uh, industry resources uh, so that is again uh, very very important and critical for uh, uh, the uh, startup uh, so uh, uh, the grants are actually paving way for you to 
uh, get the right kind of support and mentorship uh, uh, from the people. Uh, of course, it adds to the credibility because it validates the startup to investors and partners. Because if the startup has already got a government grant, that means that that startup has potential and that startup has actually uh, been uh, validated because this process of uh, getting government grant is not that easy. You need to present your case. You need to present your idea. And if your idea is really innovative and you have really done a good work on it and you present your case to uh, the, uh, and there is always a jury uh, which decides on uh, uh, this kind of a, a startup. So, so once the jury, uh, you know, decides, that means uh, the bunch of people have actually already validated your uh, project and validated your idea. So that leads to a lot of credibility to uh, the startup. And actually, uh, you are, uh, uh, you know, uh, eligible for getting more grants and you are eligible for getting more uh, validation from your uh, uh, partners and of course uh, equity pres preservation because uh, uh, it maintains the founder's ownership you don't have to give equity you don't have to give ccps so uh, uh, this again is a very positive impact because uh, you know uh, the founder feels more confident that without parting with the equity they are getting the uh, support of the government for uh, uh, doing their project so this is again a very big booster for them and uh, long-term sustainability because it helps weather economic changes, challenges because, uh, uh, you know, the basic uh, foundation uh, is uh, becomes very strong and uh, the startups are actually uh, uh, taken, uh, you know, they, they get that uh, boost uh, yeah. in terms of uh, money which is coming in. Uh, from the uh, government startups. Now, um, there are various uh, ministries and departments of the central government which offer a range of schemes and initiatives to support startups across, across different sectors. Uh, of course, you have to judge for yourself which sector your startup is. And accordingly, you have to check the schemes of uh, the ministries and departments which are there for funding the emerging startups. Uh, there are various schemes of Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, there are various schemes of Ministry of Economic, Electronic and Information Technology. We have uh, Ministry of Finance also uh, got certain schemes. Ministry of Food Processing, Ministry of Heavy Industry, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. They are actually um, giving boost to the innovative startups in the urban development <laughs> sector. And uh, also uh, uh, the uh, other uh, ministries are there, which are, uh, uh, you know, kind of, uh, I request everyone to kindly put yourself on mute. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, that is uh, there. And, uh, 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 you know, the uh, uh, various other, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, other type of, uh, uh, fundings are of course available and uh, uh, of course uh, uh, you know these ministries are uh, always uh, uh, looking for uh, applications from uh, potential startups uh, who are really good and who are really uh, uh, you know positive in their uh, delivery so uh, the Ministry of Small and, and Micro uh, Industries also, uh, Enterprises also is there. They are having certain schemes. Uh, then uh, new and renewable resources, uh, renewable energy, there's a lot of scope and the uh, Ministry has a lot of schemes for that. Uh, there is a, a Ministry of Textile, Ministry of Agriculture, Commerce and Industry, Defense, and uh, uh, there is a new ministry for development of northeast region uh, all of them have uh, grants uh, which are there for the startups to boost the startup ecosystem now let's look at uh, what are the uh, types of grants uh, which are there uh, in the uh, uh, you know government uh, sector 
So uh, one, of course, is the seed funding grant, uh, which is uh, seed funding grant are designed to kickstart the early stage startups, aiding them to product development, market research, and initial operation. Uh, there are, uh, uh, you know, uh, grants which are purely for the seed fund. No, uh, so uh, Startup India has uh, lots of schemes where you can go uh, to the Startup India and uh, you uh, can apply for the seed fund grant. And uh, um, that seed fund grant is actually um, uh, very uh, helpful for uh, the uh, early stage uh, research. And uh, of course, innovative grants, which focus on uh, engaged in groundbreaking research and development, encouraging innovation in products and services. Uh, so. Uh, um, you know, uh, there is a, a grant called Nithi Prayas. So Nithi Prayas is uh, actually uh, encouraging innovation. So uh, if you are having really an innovative idea where you are uh, uh, trying to, uh, you know, come up with the product which is really uh, research oriented and uh, which is groundbreaking uh, kind of a technology. So um, definitely. Uh, you can apply for Nidhi Prayas and you will get uh, uh, almost 10 lakh rupees for uh, uh, doing your research work. Then, of course, uh, there is a research grant which is a, a target startup involved in scientific research and technology development and uh, fostering advancement in various fields. So that is, again, uh, uh, something which uh, one can look at. Um, of course, there are these are the uh, types of uh, startup funding, uh, venture capital, angel investors, banks, uh, you know, crowdfunding, accelerators are there, grants are there, and uh, uh, series funding is also there. So, a uh, grant we are discussing today. So, all out of all these uh, uh, areas of uh, funding. So uh, what are the top government grants? One, of course, uh, Startup India initiative is there where uh, you can uh, go to Startup India and apply for uh, the grant. Uh, Startup India seed fund scheme, uh, you have Aspire, you have uh, uh, you know Make in India initiative and in that also there are a couple of grants which are available. Um, there is a venture capital assistance scheme. Uh, there is a Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana where mudra loans are given uh, and uh, these loans are being given through banks and financial institutions only um, then there is a, a semiconductor mentorship program uh, then there are various atal innovation missions uh, so uh, these uh, uh, missions have been given a composite grant by government of india and they are encouraged to uh, find these startups and uh, help these startups and uh, those startups can uh, come back to uh, government of india um, for uh, through the uh, overall startup india fund scheme and these uh, atal innovation missions can actually um, fund those uh, uh, startups then uh, there is a credit credit guarantee fund uh, for micro and small enterprises uh, of course, uh, uh, there is a single point registration scheme and uh, there is also modified special incentive package scheme. So uh, all these are um, ways uh, of the government to support the startup ecosystem and they are trying to uh, fund and fuel uh, the uh, success stories within the ecosystem so that, uh, you know, uh, the startups which are really a good they get uh, that initial uh, support for doing their research work and they get uh, that uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, initial Philip, uh, you know. So um, in the Startup India scheme, uh, the initiative of the government of India is generation of employment and wealth creation. Uh, and the goal of Startup India is development of innovation and for the services and increasing the employment rate in India. Uh, so, what are the benefits? One, financial. Uh, government provides 80% rebate on the patent cost. Uh, you know, so this is a very, very important aspect uh, 
you know, sometimes I recommend to my clients that, okay, um, uh, even if you don't uh, look for the grants, uh, this 80% uh, rebate in the patent cost itself is a pretty huge amount. Because uh, if you are really doing some innovative product, you need to register your patent in any case. So, um, uh, so there is a, you get a faster registration and uh, uh, there are facilitators who are available uh, on the Startup India website. You go to them, they will charge you less and they will actually provide you faster service. Uh, and I have myself, uh, uh, you know, tested this. Uh, I have uh, actually uh, got the patents registered for my startup. So uh, so I can tell you that uh, this scheme is really good and uh, you should actually uh, register with Startup India to uh, avail of this scheme. Uh, that is a must. Uh, then, of course, there are income tax benefits. Uh, government exempts three-year income tax post the incorporation year. Um, and uh, you can choose uh, which years you have to avail this income tax benefit. So that is also very, very, uh, you know, so one can always, uh, once you are in a profitable journey, you can choose those three years, uh, but those have to be within the overall period of 10 years. And uh, then you get some registration benefits. Uh, uh, you know, a, a single meeting is arranged with Startup India Hub. And, uh, you know, you just need to apply and that becomes your ticket to uh, the various uh, government uh, schemes and uh, various grants which are available. So uh, uh, do register your startup with Startup India. Uh, and uh, now, uh, as of now, I think we have more than one lakh uh, uh, startups which are registered with Startup India under this scheme. Uh, and they are doing very well. Uh, government tenders, of course, uh, the startups get priority in getting government tenders. And uh, you also, uh, you know, um, there is no uh, requirement for prior experience. Normally in government tenders, it is there that, oh, you need to have a prior experience. But uh, here, if you are registered as a, uh, you know, in the Startup India scheme, you don't need to have that prior experience. You can straight away. Uh, go uh, to uh, you know uh, the uh, go for uh, the government tenders and uh, of course uh, there are huge networking opportunities because uh, you meet various uh, startup stakeholders at a particular place and time. Uh, government provides this opportunity by conducting two startup fests annually, and uh, there are many uh, uh, such uh, uh, government activities now going on. Uh, under Startup India scheme. I'm also a registered mentor on MAG portal. Uh, so uh, in case you need any support, in case you need any further guidance on the uh, Startup India uh, uh, you know, schemes and grants, uh, feel free to connect with me. I'll be very happy to uh, give you all the details and support you in this. Uh, you know, then uh, comes the Startup India uh, you know, overall uh, scheme, uh, which uh, gives it that the availability of, uh, uh, you know, uh, capital is essential for entrepreneurs in the early stage. And uh, of course, uh, funding from angel investors uh, and venture capital firms, uh, uh, you know, only become available after you have a proof of concept. Uh, and uh, so the objective of the scheme is uh, to, uh, you know, um, give seed for developing that proof of concept. Because uh, if you don't have a proof of concept, the angel investors and the uh, venture capital early seed firms don't become interested in you. So um, this grant, which is uh, given by Government of India, uh, which is up to 20 lakh rupees, uh, becomes a very handy tool uh, for developing that proof of concept. and. Uh, you, uh, you know, uh, break the situation for startup with good business idea. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, many uh, innovative business ideas fail to take off due to absence of that critical capital, which is required at the early stage. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
so you can actually develop your proof of concept you can uh, do uh, for pro prototype development uh, you can do it for product trials um, of course the market entry and commercialization uh, so seed fund uh, are uh, you know uh, is being given for uh, uh, to give you that multiplier effect uh, in validation of business ideas and many startup uh, uh, you know uh, they survive and they flourish because of uh, this uh, help uh, which they get in the early stage from government of india and uh, this is what uh, uh, the startup india seed fund scheme is all about that they are trying to help uh, and uh, they are trying to encourage and foster innovation they are trying to make sure that uh, innovation is uh, 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 encouraged uh, a lot and uh, innovation Same. is uh, uh, given all that priority uh, so uh, i think uh, uh, it is very important for us to understand that uh, uh, you know when you are actually uh, delivering uh, you you can uh, do uh, a lot once you have that seed money with you once you have someone who is supporting you at that initial stage when you are struggling the most uh, and you just have an idea and you don't have uh, uh, you know any uh, anything to prove your idea so to create that proof of concept these grants become very handy and uh, if you have really have an excellent idea do present that idea well to uh, the uh, any of uh, the startup india uh, funds or atal innovation missions and they have uh, uh, you know capacity to weigh and uh, uh, you know they can actually give you uh, the support now atal innovation missions are uh, you know this is a government of india's flagship initiative uh, which is to promote uh, the culture of innovation and entrepreneurship uh, across length and breadth of the country so uh, uh, you know it uh, it develops new programs and policies for fostering innovation in different sectors um, and it provides platform for collaboration opportunities also uh, for uh, different st stakeholders and of course create a umbrella structure to oversee the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem of the country so uh, uh, of course uh, there are various uh, uh, you know uh, programs which are part of this uh, atal innovation mission uh, one of course they provide funding for uh, uh, establishing a in incubation center um, the uh, uh, atal new india challenge uh, uh, programs are there then uh, atal community innovation centers are there where community innovation is fostered and uh, encouraged then uh, atal research and innovation uh, for small enterprises arise program is there which uh, is uh, giving a lot of uh, uh, you know and atal tinkering labs are there for uh, uh, giving that space uh, to the startups who are there to uh, you know for them to flourish and of course the mentors for change program where mentors are being offered uh, almost at free uh, of cost uh, uh, people are uh, volunteering to support the uh, startups uh, on pro bono basis so uh, they don't charge you but they give you a lot of valuable tips and a lot of valuable insights so uh, so make in india of course uh, it promotes manufacturing and boosts the growth uh, of the manufacturing sector in the country uh, the initiative aims to transform india into global manufacturing hub by encouraging uh, domestic and foreign companies to invest and uh, uh, you know in manufacturing facilities uh, and operations in india uh, of course uh, make in india has a significant impact on supporting manufacturing startups uh, so uh, one they support on ease of doing business uh, they uh, also support on uh, assess uh, to finance so uh, uh, you know how uh, to reach out and get the funding for your organization uh, that is uh, 
uh, also part of this, uh, uh, you know, Make in India mission. Uh, of course, uh, skill development is uh, another very important uh, aspect which they cover. And uh, <coughs> sorry, and uh, of course, infrastructure development is there. We also have intellectual property rights uh, protection. IPR protection is uh, uh, also covered in there. Uh, you have global partnerships. Uh, so uh, that uh, is, again, uh, something uh, which is very, very important uh, for uh, these startups. And, uh, uh, you know, there are various sector-specific initiatives also, which are there uh, for uh, the uh, startups to uh, prepare themselves for, uh, you know, uh, being uh, uh, there as a... Uh, you know, for flourishing in their particular sector. Uh, of course, we just discussed about the Startup India initiatives and uh, there are a lot of schemes in that. Uh, they also provide market assess uh, and uh, uh, of course, green manufacturing is encouraged. So these days, uh, Government of India has lots of, uh, uh, you know, schemes where uh, they are trying to reduce the carbon credits and uh, the green uh, you know, manufacturing is encouraged and uh, especially the companies uh, which are into green initiatives, they are also being encouraged a lot. So uh, uh, let's look at what are the research and development grants. Uh, so, uh, you know, these are, uh, uh, we all understand what is research and development and, uh, uh, you know, you need to innovate into new products and services. So R&D, uh, of course, is linked with innovation and uh, companies do design new products and improve their existing uh, offerings by staying ahead of the uh, competition and also help in improving uh, the uh, society standards and quality of living. Uh, so uh, what is the objective of the scheme? Uh, one, of course, uh, promotes new ideas for innovation, even at the risk of failure. So, uh, because when you are doing R&D, uh, it doesn't mean that you may succeed, no? Uh, so R&D uh, has a chance of failure. So, uh, but uh, the, uh, you know, that risk uh, government is taking along with you. So government is, uh, um, you know, when they are funding, they are not, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking that, oh, 110% the result will come. Um, you, they allow you to experiment and try to innovate. In case you fail, uh, nobody is going to hang you uh, because, uh, you know, uh, you just need to establish that you tried. Uh, so, so that is the kind of, uh, you know, support government is giving, even at the cost of risk of failure. They are taking that risk along with you uh, because this money is coming as a grant. Nobody is going to ask this money back from you. So, so that is the power of this grant which is coming in. Uh, and uh, of course, they inspire industry uh, and R&D institutions to develop uh, innovative products. Uh, of course, uh, develop socially relevant and cost-effective technologies because uh, there are so many, uh, uh, you know, social uh, reforms which can take place uh, by doing uh, innovation in uh, startup ecosystem. So uh, uh, they are encouraging uh, uh, those kind of projects and uh, of course, uh, promote the manufacturing of competitive consumer goods, um, categorize uh, uh, and act in areas requiring strategic intervention. Um, and of course, enable Indian industries to stand up uh, uh, to the competitive pressure by investing in core technology development to become a global player. So that is where I think uh, uh, all uh, uh, needs to be done, where uh, uh, the R&D uh, can be uh, developed. And uh, then there are state level initiatives also, uh, apart from the center. A uh, uh, lot of state governments are also very, very active uh, in their uh, uh, startup uh, ecosystem support. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the state level initiatives recognize the unique need uh, for the startups within their region.
they complement national uh, schemes by providing localized support and uh, facilitating regional growth. Uh, so that's what uh, these uh, state level in initiatives are all about. So um, uh, uh, let's look at some of the uh, noteworthy state level initiatives. Uh, one, uh, Startup Karnataka is very, very active. Uh, they offer a huge range of incentives, uh, including funding, mentorship, infrastructure support uh, for the startups uh, in the state. So, uh, so you have uh, both uh, the chances. Uh, you can go to the center and you can even approach the uh, state uh, level uh, uh, governments uh, for uh, and look for the local state level schemes which are there to support these startups. And uh, you have Startup uh, Gujarat also. It provides financial support, incubation facility, networking opportunity, and to startup ventures. Startup UP is also very, very active. Uh, uh, and uh, of late, uh, I, I heard something was going on in Startup Delhi, but they have gone slow. Uh, Maharashtra uh, uh, also provides uh, technology adoption, skill development, and access to the markets. So, uh, so there the uh, general eligibility uh, criteria, which is there for uh, qualifying for the government grants, um, it 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 can be dependent on the grant program uh, which the government is offering, or there are some common criteria uh, and many grant programs to consider. So uh, the typical eligibility requirement uh, seeking government grants is, of course, a legal entity. So one legal entity should be there. Uh, then, of course, uh, age of the startup, uh, the Indian ownership, uh, the innovation and impact, uh, and of course, uh, the business focus. Uh, so, uh, so, of course, uh, you need to have a, a clear business focus uh, uh, for uh, this, uh, uh, you know, applying for the grant. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the financial stability, compliance, previous funding, uh, uh, if there uh, is a, you know, previous funding, uh, uh, you know, example is there or you have already got some funding. So they, that will uh, actually, uh, you know, be helpful to you. And uh, uh, of course, you need to have documentation. You have to uh, adhere to the grant guidelines. And uh, of course, uh, geographical location is very important because uh, uh, Startup Karnataka will uh, give you funding if you are in Karnataka state or registered there. Uh, the UP will have their own scheme, but they they look for uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, what where are you located? So that's, uh, I take a halt here and uh, uh, I, I leave the floor open for questions uh, so that you know, we can discuss um, how the grants work and I can share my practical experience with you. So anybody with any questions, please. Rajiji, uh, how, how can we know about this grant? Uh information like uh, uh, there will be time period and all right could you throw some light on it no see uh, the time period uh, is uh, basically uh, you know you once the grant is given to you uh, then uh, uh, you know startup india has a very open door policy so if you are uh, uh, you know they they don't announce uh, uh, okay grant scheme grant scheme is there no, uh, what they do is they give, uh, say, for example, five CR to uh, one Atal Innovation Mission, and they tell them to further, uh, uh, you know, distribute this grant. No, and also, uh, uh, you know, on the Startup India portal, there are uh, <clears throat> you can choose uh, the Atal Innovation Mission you would like your application to go. No? So <clears throat> they have a very open door policy. So uh, you can say that, oh, my uh, application should go to Atal Innovation Mission in, uh, uh, you know, SPTBI, as I told you. Uh, you can say, uh, let it go to IIT Delhi. Let it go to uh, one more IIT, IIT uh, Mumbai. 
right? So uh, you uh, can actually. So what will happen once you choose these three? Uh, they will uh, forward your uh, application to these uh, uh, Atal Innovation Missions. They have their own, uh, uh, you know, periodic uh, uh, interviews uh, and a way of shortlisting various uh, startups. And uh, they will they will look at your application. If they feel that the uh, criteria is met, they will give you opportunity to present your case before these uh, uh, Atal Innovation Missions. Um, so you you uh, are called to present your uh, case, which is all happening online. So you can present your uh, uh, pitch deck or uh, your uh, application for grant and explain your project to them online. Um, it normally is a 15 minutes kind of affair where within five, six minutes you explain your project and five, six minutes they ask you some counter questions and things like that. So uh, that's how it works. And suppose your project is shortlisted, you will get a letter from uh, that particular Atal Innovation Mission. So they have decentralized this whole operation uh, to various, uh, 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 you know, incubation uh, which which are there all across India, and you can choose it to whom you are approaching. So so it has become a very democratic way of uh, uh, looking for grant. So it's not that they announce a particular grant; it's it's there. You know? if your project is really good, you choose uh, apply online to st on Startup India website choose where to whom you would like to present your case and you may be chosen you know so that's how it works i hope i'm clear any further questions please yeah, thank you Rajiji. any further questions how competitive is the uh, you know the application process? Competition, of course, uh, in India, competition is there everywhere. Uh, so uh, I give you uh, a live example of the process I personally did. Uh, we uh, applied for uh, you know grant uh, uh, with Startup India for one of my own startup. So we uh, applied to. Uh, Three, uh, we chose three. One of them was SPTBI, which is SP uh, Jain uh, uh, Institute uh, of Technology in Mumbai. You know? So, uh, so you you need to choose, uh, you know, according to your project, who can be the right uh, fit for you, who can give you uh, that grant. And in uh, that was the first, uh, you know, uh, foray because they just got. Uh, uh, you know the incubation license from government of India. So, um, uh, but in that first uh, uh, foray also, there were hundred and uh, something uh, applications. Uh, so, uh, out of those hundred and uh, something applications, they chose uh, I think twenty startups to uh, present. So, uh, so it's a way of elimination. So, out of those hundred something, twenty got shortlisted. Okay, they got the opportunity to present their case to the jury. Uh, so there was a panel of uh, uh, five, six uh, people uh, who were there. Uh, they were all industry experts, plus they were uh, experts from uh, the SPJN uh, also. And, uh, uh, you know, when we presented our case, they uh, heard us and we were the only one chosen. So, so you can imagine out of 100 something, uh, one got uh, funding so uh, that's the kind of competition of course but uh, mm, uh, it's it's not always like this uh, you know sometimes if your project is really good uh, you can really stand out but uh, of course the competition is there you need to actually uh, have a very uh, you know uh, that is what i i also said that it gives you validation also because uh, if you got funded, if you got a government grant, that means you have gone through that process of uh, rigorous 
uh, you know, choosing uh, by uh, uh, the people who are really professionals. And um, uh, let me tell you, it's purely uh, on a merit basis. And uh, of course, once you get that uh, grant, it not only uh, gives you uh, financial support, it gives you a lot of validation because uh, that means if you got a grant, that means your project is scrutinized well by technical team who are really experts in their own field and they have actually weighed your project. Sir, one question from my side, sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, the thing is that can we go in for the government funding even though we have received some sort of a seed funding from some private investors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not the problem because uh, uh, government grant is, uh, uh, you know, but the government grant is for uh, doing research and development. So you need to uh, give a proper uh, breakup of what exactly you are going to use these funds for. You know? So you can say that uh, these funds which have come from any other seed investor, they are for my market making or something like that, right? So uh, you need to actually, uh, because, you know, the grant is coming to you to develop proof of concept. Now, uh, there, may, there may be a possibility that you are working on a project where proof of concept itself requires uh, 50 lakh rupees or 1 crore of rupees, right? So uh, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, but government grant is restricted to 20 lakh rupees. So, uh, so uh, if somebody else is also contributing and government grant, uh, so that is not an impediment in the uh, getting government grants if your project is really good. Uh, I, I give you an example. Uh, I came across a project where uh, they were making an electric car and that too a racing car, electric racing car. No? So, uh, you know, so they... They got, uh, uh, you know, some seed fund from uh, Angel uh, in friends and family and Angel investors also. But uh, they were granted, uh, uh, you know, from the government also uh, to, to work on this project and create that proof of concept. Because um, government grant is generally given for research activity for, uh, uh, you know, creating that initial uh, product itself uh, for everyone to see that, oh, this is possible. What we are talking is not in air. It is actually a reality. And, you know, they give you fund for that. So if the project itself is, say, 1 CR, 20 lakh rupees uh, uh, is peanuts for that, right? So just 20% of uh, what is the total project cost. But you have to share uh, the total project cost. And you have to say uh, that, oh, my cost is 1 CR. Uh, 80, I'm going to put in 20, please, you help so that uh, we can create their proof of concept. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Yeah. And you have to report at every stage. Uh, so, so you have, and you have to give a breakup also. Okay, uh, uh, this much I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, do for stage one. And then after stage one, they review, okay, how much you have spent, what was your initial plan. So plan versus actual, you have to explain to them. And then only you get the second tranche. That's how it works. Right, sir. Right, sir. Got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Anybody and, else? Uh, is it also possible to apply for multiple grants simultaneously? Yeah, yeah. It is possible. Uh, you can apply for multiple grants. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, you have to make a disclosure. Uh, once you avail one grant, then when you are applying for the second grant, you have to uh, make a disclosure. And uh, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, the uh, um, at the end of the, you know, period, when you take the entire grant, they ask for a declaration that, oh, now you will not apply for any other grant or something uh, because you got this grant. But when you are applying, you can apply for multiple grants. Okay, thanks. And uh, and what reporting and compliance requirements you know comes with the grant? Like I I as I told you, no, you when you uh, apply for the grant, you uh, once the grant is uh, approved to you, they will ask you to give a very detailed plan of how you are going to utilize the funds. 
So first they are going to tell you, uh, government of India overall limit is 20 lakhs, but sometimes they say, oh, we give you only 10 lakh rupees no? as a grant. Now they will tell you, okay, please, uh, you know, tell us how you are going to utilize these 10 lakh rupees for uh, uh, creating your proof of concept, right? So you need to give a breakup that, okay, uh, this stage one, I'm going to uh, create, uh, do the research activity for uh, this. For this, I need these many people. Uh, uh, so I need to spend this much money on manpower, uh, this much money on raw material, this much money on research activity, this much money on uh, other contingencies or whatever. And uh, so... Uh, after spending this, I will be at this stage. So stage one, stage two, stage three. So you have to give a breakup of all those stages. And then, uh, you know, uh, so stage one, after stage one, you need to report uh, that oh, my, I have already done this. So you have to tick the boxes, which you already planned. You know? And uh, how much you actually spent, you need to give. Uh, the actual uh, bills and everything for along with that and once they are satisfied they will release you the uh, funds for the stage two and then funds for the stage three and then of course once you finish your project you need to uh, give a completion report along with the uh, you know maybe chartered accountants report and everything like that so you need to report Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. Hi, sir. Hi. So I am uh, Dinesh from a uh, farmer background. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Dinesh, I'm listening. Yeah. yeah. So I have a query to ask you. See, yeah, basically, I have, have a, because I need both help in doing the feasibility study as well as in making the costing factors so which one of the uh, among uh, all the things that you detail so which one should i approach so that they will be helping me in both the things because both is needed to move ahead in whatever i'm thinking because earlier some of the interactions which i had with the community even they don't have an idea or else people are more interested in digital science rather than on the pharma pharmaceutical products or pharma background so can you just give me a guidance on this so it will be helpful for me yeah so so uh, your question is uh, whether you should uh, go for feasibility study or you should go for uh, uh, the product development that's what you're saying what is your question exactly See, I have an idea. Okay, so I have done some groundwork on that. Okay. And I know that there is a market for that particular product. But okay. I don't know whom to approach. Because see, it is, it's only my idea, right? I need to have opinion from multiple people. Because even ethics is involved in that manufacturing of cells and all. Right. So which of the product, I mean, which of the agency I should, whether I should go for a seed grant, whether they will be helping me with both, I mean, what is the cost, I mean, uh, uh, coming up with a budget for that and then will they help me in marketing will they help me in like I mean uh, finding like minded people I mean there are multiple things that is involved right See, when you go to Startup India uh, and uh, if you go to Startup India portal you will find uh, one is the grant part another is they have a mark which is the uh, you can uh, even uh, find a mentor uh, free of charge for yourself right so there are various mentors who have registered there and they are providing pro bono services uh, for uh, helping uh, the startups with various things right so you can find uh, uh, a person who may be ha having expertise in the uh, pharma uh, marketing you no know? uh, and uh, maybe he can uh, uh, he or she can help you with the feasibility study also uh, as far as the product development part is concerned or, uh, you know, so mainly the seed funding, uh, seed fund scheme is more helpful in uh, creating the proof of concept. You know? So, um, you know, when you are going to the government of India for grant, uh, you need to say, you need to tell them that, oh, I'm going to utilize this money for, uh, you know, so 
they they expect that feasibility and all you have already done no? you need to convince now uh, the government that oh you give me grant so that i can create this proof of concept no? so that is more uh, welcome uh, because if you go uh, of course uh, it really depends uh, you know there are certain uh, uh, grants which are even given for social causes suppose you are um, developing something which is very excellent for the humanity or very uh, you are talking about a product which is uh, uh, serving some social cause or which is actually going to change the lives of people you no know? so <clears throat> then it's a different matter uh, but uh, generally speaking uh, the uh, more uh, you know effective grant uh, is granted to <clears throat> for for doing the proof of concept and uh, for developing the product uh, and of course uh, uh, as i told you uh, for getting mentors and for getting help in feasibility study and all there are other ways to look at you know uh, you can find a mentor and you can find the uh, agencies also which are willing to help uh, and they are working hand in hand with startup india's uh, seed fund scheme so uh, you approach uh, you know you identify who are the right uh, uh, fit for you who are looking into so for example there are certain uh, incubation centers who are into bio uh, uh technology uh, there are certain centers who are into purely uh, you know healthcare uh, projects so you need to identify who is the right fit for you sure sir thank you so much yeah otherwise uh, i i share my uh, number uh, in the chat window so you guys uh, can uh, give me a ping after this meeting and i'll add you to the community also so that you get regular updates uh, we keep and we are very focused on startup ecosystem only so uh, we keep discussing uh, on the uh, various uh, you know happening various actions which are taking place in the startup ecosystem so you connect with offline anybody else so we learned something new today yeah and uh, uh, i think this is a very important part so we anticipate that uh, uh, you know more initiatives and grants that will continue to drive innovation will come uh, I, of course uh, this is going to create opportunities and elevate the entrepreneurial spirit in india and uh, uh, we also encourage startups to seize these opportunities uh, and uh, of course engage with government programs and play an active role in shaping the future uh, uh, of uh, our vibrant uh, startup ecosystem which is uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, you know uh, we, we are number 3 in the world now in the in terms of the startup ecosystem and uh, uh, of course uh, uh, government uh, grants are not merely financial instruments they are uh, of course uh, Uh, you know uh, nationals uh, commitment for nurturing innovation uh, supporting entrepreneurship and realizing the uh, you know uh, potential for uh, uh, the uh, boundaries and potentials for the startups so uh, uh, you know I, i think all of us we need to uh, work on uh, this uh, uh, very effectively and i'm sure uh, this is going to uh, you know bring lots of uh, uh happiness suppose any of us we get a grant that itself is a big validation apart from the money part that itself is a big validation that uh, your startup is going on the right track and uh, you know what you need is validation actually in the initial stages of your startup journey because uh, at the end of the day uh, if you get recognized by your peers uh, so uh, Uh, that means your idea is good and uh, you are going in the right direction and uh, <clears throat> that actually boosts your confidence so uh, do uh, go for uh, a startup seed fund scheme uh, if you really have a innovative idea and if you need any help feel free to get in touch with me i'll be very happy to support you uh, on pro bono basis and uh, 
to to work with you uh, on your startup idea and of course uh, we'll help you getting these uh, grants all the very best thank you so much thanks for joining thank you and we thank you we hold this uh, uh, event every sunday 11:30 am so uh, do uh, ping to me in my on my number i'll add you to the community and uh, let's uh, uh, continue our uh, quest to help entrepreneurs in uh, their journey ahead thank you so much thank you bye bye thank you sir thank you thanks for joining gaurav thank you everyone thank you thank, thank you sir thank you sir bye 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 sir